welcome to the IT Free Training Series on Building Your Own Home Virtual Router. By the end of this video series, you will be able to build your own virtual router using Lubuntu. Even though we are using a virtual machine and virtual networks, the same process is used for a physical computer connected to a physical network, and the steps are simpler, if not the same, on different Linux distributions. First of all, I will look at the software and hardware used. For the virtualization solution, I will be using vSphere. This does require a dedicated computer, but in exchange for this, it gives you excellent performance and a lot of features. You could also use the instructions in these videos and perform the install on other virtualization solutions like Hyper-V or VMware Workstation. The important point to remember, if you use a different virtualization solution, that the virtualization solution supports the number of networks that you are planning to have configured on the virtual machine. The router that we will configure in this series of videos uses 10 virtual network adapters. For our purposes, we need that many, but you may not require that many on your virtual machine. The operating system that I will install is Lubuntu 12.10. This is a lightweight version of Ubuntu and does not require as many resources as Ubuntu. It has a minimal desktop and applications installed. I could have also used Ubuntu Server for the router. The difference is the server version does not come with a desktop pre-installed. In this case, Lubuntu was chosen as having a lightweight desktop makes it a little bit easier to work with than the terminal interface. The router that I will look at building is designed to work as a home lab on a typical home network. If you consider your standard DSL device connected to the internet, you want to be able to build a home lab that does not affect that network, but will be able to use it to access the internet. This is where the virtual home router is used. The home router can connect to the home network and use it to access the internet. What you can then do is create virtual machines that access the home router. Since these virtual machines are on their own networks, you can install services like DHCP without affecting your home network. You can also perform some complex deployments like having virtual machines on different network segments. For example, one virtual machine could be on a virtual New York network and one on a virtual network representing Los Angeles clients. The virtual router that I will configure is capable of routing IP4 and IP6 packets to the internet, even if your router and ISP do not support IP6. That's it for the introduction. I hope to see you in the other video as we go about installing the virtual router. If you try this at home, let us know in the comments how it goes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.